I'm just making sure that we've got we are live um, make sure I can see myself on my computer Oops, I can hear myself. <laughs> That's that. And there we go. So, hello, good evening, and welcome. Lorna Carter from Lorna Carter's Creations independent stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK hi Sylvia right okay it's been a bit of a mad day for me today I didn't get in well just after seven o'clock so I am sort of organized and sort of not but we'll get there so this evening we're going to be using honeybee home the stamp set this is a red rubber i don't know what i've done with that one. Oh dear it's a red rubber stamp set anyway i've got it somewhere it's all it's all right it's over there i always panic when i can't find a <laughs> stamp or a die so this is what we're using honeybee home we are decorating a key ring something a little bit different now this is the key ring we're going to be decorating it's just a plain blank as you can see with the back in that goes in the back once we've completed and we're going to decorate this we're going to do some heat embossing we're going to do some water coloring as it's watercolor month this july um so just quickly go through what we're using as i say honeybee home we're using three colors so we're using tahitian tide which is one of the new ink colors parakeet party one of the new ink colors and polish pink which is last year's in colors so that's what we're going to be using tonight we're also going to be using I can always get this name wrong rectangle stitch dies which is this set good basic set for layering but the only die we're using tonight is this tiny one in the corner that's the one we're going to be using so I'm just going to put that on my magnetic tray so I can put those to one side right I've got a few things to go through after I've uh, finished creating um, but I'll get creating first and then we'll go through right okay I've not mounted my stamps I'm afraid I've not had chance to do anything <laughs> so we're going straight from scratch right so just get a couple of blocks out so we're going to be using which B do we use? I think we'll use we're going to be using this little fella. So we're going to use that B and we're going to use this lovely um stamp, this flower stamp. So I'll just put the B on there. I'm sorry if you can hear my chair squeak. <laughs> need to oil it i think so then i'll just mount that one up hi maxine thank you for joining us oh also um which one is it stay wonderful it's that one i haven't got one to show you because i've given all mine away that i made um but we've got stay wonderful that sentiment we're going to have that on there as well 
I'm just gonna mount it all the ones so that's three stamps we're using so I've got some little scraps of basic white and we need one piece I'm gonna cut a piece out in fact that's not what it is sorry it looked look like watercolor paper for a start it's been through my die cutting machine and just got a bit textured um so we want one uh, two of those actually those rectangles so i've got two pieces there so these use your scraps and then we need a piece that is three and a half i'll just measure three and a half by five and a half yeah three and a half oh sorry three and a half by five so we will get that i'll just cut that now that way. just i'm just gonna make sure just make sure my edges are straight so um three and a half we might have to cut a slither off this later um, to get it in the actual um, frame, but um, three and a half by five. It's all right, my brain's gone today. I've had a long day and I've been travelling and it's like, oh, my brain is gone. Right, so that is one piece. I'm just going to quickly die cut. I'm not bringing it on screen. Just going to quickly die cut two of these. I was going to get these prepared, but as I said, I didn't come in from work while I've gone seven, so I haven't had a chance. That's one. There's me. One and this one just pop that through. Oops, it's come adrift. So we've got two of those so it only takes up as i say um minimal um card so i suppose it's good for a little project for craft fairs that sort of thing um the key ring that i that i bought i originally was going to use these um for a felting little felting picture but unfortunately, they the weren't quite deep enough. It was the deepest one I could find. This is more for cross stitch. Um, but anyway, I, I ordered them, so I thought, well, I'm going to use them. And uh, so we're going to we're going to use them. We're just going to pad it out just a little bit. This is why I've got two of these put on top of one another, which will go on the back of those, and that just pads it out right so we need to be heat embossing tonight not that i i really like it not of course i do i love it absolutely love heat embossing absolutely right hopefully you'll be able to see this so i've got my little piece of um card the biggest piece not the die cut pieces I'll just get my, so I've got my embossing buddy, I'm going with um, gold uh, embossing powder and I don't use it very often, black embossing powder. Right, so for this I need my Versamark ink, which is the um, watermark um, ink. So you could use it just, you could just stamp a background 
So, for instance, um, so we see if I can find, let me find a scrap. I've got a little scrap here. So, say for instance, we'll just, um, we'll do the B. So, say for instance, you wanted to do a background. So, I'll just quickly show you. So, you can just use it, just like an ordinary ink pad. And just stamp. And it's very very subtle very subtle now if i bring that up it sort of gives a i don't know if you can see hi helen i don't know if you can see just it's like stamping with the same color if you know what i mean on a background so you could do a lovely background so you could use it in that way which i'm not using because i'm heat embossing but like for heat embossing it's great so i still haven't got my um i haven't put an order in yet um for the embossing kit that comes with a tray i've used it i've used izzy's but uh, and it's very good that comes with the tweezers and the brush and that is in the new mini catalogue that has just been released on the 1st of July. So we've just gone over um, a piece of cardstock with the embossing buddy. That is to take all the um, any residue off your hands, greasiness, fingerprints, that sort of thing. Right, so on this piece, let's pop him to one side. I'm going in and inking up the flower. So the flower, I am going to emboss in gold. I say it's only a tiny, it's not a very big piece. So I'm just going to just go in where I can. Let's put that to one side i'll clean that off in a minute so i'm just going to pick this up i'm just going to turn this over because obviously it's stamped on the background and we're just going to go over with the gold embossing powder so we just knock the excess off it has just got a little bit, so I've just got a dry brush, just to take the little pieces away. Okay, so let me just pop that back in there. So with the um, with the new uh, embossing kit. Say so instead of doing this, you'd use your tray, which is quite it is quite a nice idea. Right, so I'm just let me put my lid on before it goes everywhere. Uh, I want that again for later. Um, heat tool, that would be good. So I'll just warm it up. Sorry for the noise. So I'm just going to get my tweezers, my stand up, and we'll watch the magic, hopefully, I'm trying to, oh stop, that's it, I think we're alright, no, not playing ball tonight. There we go. You can see it. So I'll just turn that off. So there we are. That is the flowers. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna colour the flowers. Before I go on and emboss the bee, we're gonna emboss the bee in black. <coughs> As you can see, I've been did this 
So I've got, oh no, I haven't, oh I have got the right brush. So what I'm going to do is use the ink as a watercolour. So I'm just going to just take a little bit and we're just going to go in. And because it's embossed, you've got a, like a resist line, a raised edge, and it just, it's easy to just colour in. So I'm just going just over lightly, like so, and then I'm going to pick some deeper colour, and I'm just going to go in and just shade, just pick some water up to blend in, okay. Like that. As I say, it is July is watercolour month, so we've got to do a bit of watercolour, just like so. Oops. Mm -hmm. oh, I've got cat hairs in here. Kitty glitter, as I call it. Right. So that's all we're going to do with the pink. Just don't... Um, if you've got a lot of water, I haven't got a lot of water in there, but if you had a lot of water in there, what I suggest you do is you get a tissue and just damp, you know, just um, get rid of the excess water. But I know that is, isn't excessive. So we're going to get the green love this colour. We love a bright colour. Oops. What's on that? Got my computer gone funny then. So all we're going to do, there's not many leaves. That's it. So there's only three. So that's all I've... That's all we're doing. So it doesn't take a lot to do really this. Right, so I'm just going to put that to one side out of the way. I'm just going to get my heat tool, put it on the first setting and I'm just going to dry off. You don't want to get it too close. Just to dry off that um, ink that's done that okay right so now we're going to go in with the b once again with the versamark ink and then we go in like so Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to spin this over again. I'm going to go in black. I'm just being a little bit careful not to um, go over the flower just in case there's any more, there is any residue and we get black on it. Black powder. So. Get my other brush. So I've just got just a dry brush. Okay, there's the bee. So I'll just put my black powder back in my pot. Right. So pop that back on there. Oh, I want the gold back. I'll just pop that away. Right, heat tool again. Uh, oh, I did. Oh, my tweezers are there. So I'm just heating it up, making sure it's. Oops. I 
then we're just going to heat it up. There we go. Turn that off. I'll just leave that to one side because we'll do the Stay Wonderful. Um, so we need one. In fact, I need this back. So we need one, the rect one of the rectangles. Just going to put that down. And we now need the sentiment Stay Wonderful. So we're going to ink that up again with Versamark. So we'll get all this bit done. And I'm just going to just going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. So we've got Stay Wonderful. that's moved hopefully it'll be all right yeah looks okay i know what i didn't do oh i bet you're all shouting at the screen aren't you i didn't do me embossing buddy on it never mind Let's see how it comes out. It's only a piece, a little piece of card. If it goes wrong, we can do it again. Doing it. Giving it a flick, and that looks okay. Um, I'm just gonna go in just a couple of bits, but I think you get it anyway. Sometimes, just a little bit there. That's it. So there's one last go with the heat tool. And I got it the wrong way around, as you can tell. I left it kind of in now. Because it's stuck. Right. Embossing powder away. And then if I just And we'll just do this. This will be the last bit of embossing. Stay wonderful. There we go. Right. So, this is all we need. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my... two layers together so the two stitched rectangles I'm just going to glue together pop this one on here and that can be drying while we carry on with the other one just gives it that little bit more depth for the key ring okay so far so good right so now I need some stampin blends so we've got daffodil delight light and dark and then I've got is that light one well, yeah light pool party with the bitter winker Stella. Okay, so I've done him in black, the B, and I'm just going to go over with the light daffodil delight. Okay, so quick and easy, but I think it's a lovely project. So just a little bit of shading with the dark, just a little bit, looks more like a wasp now I think, but never mind, not the best at colouring in. So the light pool party, I'm 
I'm going to go in through his wings. So it just gives those wings a little bit of, just a little bit of colour. That's done with those. Put those away. Right, let me get another piece of... Okay. So while that's just making sure that's dry, we're going to go in now with Tahitian Tide. We're going to get our blending brush and we're just going to pick up, just by doing some circles, pick up some colour and then we're just going to go around the edge. We want some colour in the middle, but we want the stronger colour on the outside. So we're just going to go around the edge. Like so. So this is what we've this is what we've got. Okay, right. I'm just turning this over because I'm just going to do the same on the back and it might sound a bit daft but you'll see why you, we could have stuck that on and then done it but it uh, doesn't matter which way so we've got some nice colour around the edge like so not doing it just now but we're going to stick that on there like that but before we do we're going to put some colour around the bee next door's dogs are going out you can hear them <laughs> as we usually say who let the dogs out <laughs> Just a little bit of colour, just slightly going over the B, not a lot, just to bring in that colour like so. And then I haven't done with the blends because we're going to go in. I'm going to go in with dark balmy blue. We can go in with whatever colour it can be, grey. I suppose it could even be the dark um, pool party. But I think you'll see this a bit better. Um, right. So we need, like the brush end, apologies for the dogs. Oh, and tab me weed to fix today. <laughs> I ain't got a lot of energy and all we're going to do is flick so we get some ink all over just so it gives just don't do it too hard and your nib will be fine so we've just got if you can see just that little bit of dotage, splattage, whatever you want to call it, just to give it a little bit of effect. So on this side, I'm going to stick Stay Wonderful, like so. But before I do, I'm just going to go in just need to cut a sliver just a tiny weeny little bit so because I'm cutting this off I'll need a bit more than that I think I'm just going to go around the edge with my ink again so I've just cut just a tiny little slither and then just 
let me yeah that's fine you could have to do it with scissors or whatever or just cut it that slight under whatever size it measures right just gonna go back in just gonna do this side obviously because it's it's ripped it a little bit because I only did a slither but it will be fine handcrafted so I'm just trying to think what's happened since I was last on air we had a get together for creativity day that was on the 18th of June so we had there was five of us that gathered at Izzy's house Izzy is our upline team leader whatever you want to call her mama b we call her and we created some lovely cards and it was just solely for creativity it was lovely it was really nice and it was nice to meet all the teamies um i met both helens and for the first time i'd already met alison and obviously i'd already met izzy and it was lovely absolutely lovely the stamping up community is amazing it's so friendly it's lovely so all i'm doing i'm just going to pull it round like so just making sure so you can stick this with tape it doesn't matter whichever medium of I'm just making sure it's level I like my Tombow because it's wiggle room and then I'm just gonna just give it a little bit more colour and oh, do I put it in the wrong way now I'm going to pop it in like so and then put the back on and if you find the back is a little bit loose like I, I did on the last one I made all I did was um, glue dots, put one in each corner and you can barely see them because they're see-through. So just to hold it in. So to finish it off, um, I'm going to go in. This is a retired ribbon, but it needs using up. I'm just going to go in at the top and all I'm going to do is just tie a piece of ribbon knot it like so and then we're just going to cut the ends just on a diagonal just put my things away out of the way because otherwise you know me things will go everywhere and there is your keyring and you can use any stamp set anything and obviously it says stay wonderful on the back so that is today's project i just thought it was just something um quite quick quite easy once you know what you're doing and you, you know what size is i say i made um um 
Oh. Um, I'm just trying to find it. Ah, it's all right. <laughs> this is something I was going to show you. This is um, one of the little presents I made. We made team gifts. And um, this was one that I made. So everybody had one. Um, I also made, you've seen this before, um, which is an album. So I made everybody one of these. And this was made using, um, oh, artistically inked and flowing flowers. Unfortunately, flowing flowers is now retired, but I mean, I absolutely love it with these flowers. I wish they'd uh, kept it on in the annual catalog. So, uh, yeah, so that is another Prezi. The card I made. I went mad. Once I started, I couldn't stop. So the card I made was this one. I'll just quickly take it out just to show you. You've seen the style done because I've made this before. Hi, Anne-Marie. So that was the card, which just about matched the um, uh, album. And then one of these I made for everybody which is a glue holder so that was my team gift to everybody and I'm going to show you because we do swaps card swaps or whatever swap oh sorry I'm knocking the thing but um whatever you want to make swaps so I'll quickly show you those just put that over there so i'll keep that there because that's what we've made so the swaps i got what's this one and this was um from alison alison langford inspired creations i think she is um and this is using the ink colors the new in colours and um, colour and contour um, stamp and, and die set, which is a lovely card. That really nice shows off. This is the Tahitian Tide Reviews tonight. A parakeet Party, which we've used tonight. And this one's Sweet Sorbet, which I've used before, but not tonight. So that is one. That's Alison's card. I have Helen's card, Helen Holden, this one. And this is a lovely koala bear. Lovely card. And it's got I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see or not, but it's got um like stitch detail on the on the green. It's a die that does like a stitching pattern of leaves. It's lovely. So that is one that Helen did and she also popped these in. So with this koala comes um, the panda stamp and the raccoon. So they're really nice if you're into that sort of thing. You have animals. So that was another swap also had this one and this was Izzy's swap which is a book binding fold card and my brain will go in a minute the stamp set is in the new catalogue I just can't remember just off the top of my head um, but it is beautiful and she's used the the gold um, twine down there so that's another one lovely and last but not least abigail rose thank you helen um and this one beautiful card 
Only about the fifth card Helen had made. This is Helen Smith. And she made this beautiful card using um, the teacup um, bundle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got here, we're using the um, In Colour Glimmer paper on there. And it's the Tahitian Tide. I love Tahitian Tide. I love blue. Bright blue. So that's another one. A lovely a lovely card. So those were my swaps. Um, Alright, I'm just trying to think of what else. Um, so yes, so since last time... I've got a year older. <laughs> so it was my birthday. So I just want to show you a few of my uh, handmade cards. So I've got this one, and this one was from Helen Holden. Really nice with the punch flowers. This is the same ribbon that I've just used. That's a lovely card. I also got this one, and this was from my work colleague, Lydia, who's only just started card making with a lovely job that one and you're gonna love this when I tell you Chris isn't watching tonight I don't think she's out because it's a birthday today happy birthday Chris when you watch it back <laughs> you had a lovely meal um merry birthday so the story behind this is I absolutely love Christmas I love Christmas and Chris thought it'd be great. She knows I love, well, I've got a few cats. So she knows I love cats. And uh, she made this shaker Christmas come birthday card. And I thought it was ace, merry birthday. Absolutely beautiful, loved it. So uh, thank you very much, Chris. I also got this one. Now this is slightly unusual. It's... On a stand like so but this is a little bit like a, an album so if we bring over it says life is better with friends like you and we've got together and there's a picture there of Isabella and myself afternoon tea and another photograph this was from the photograph there was from um, creativity day and we've got several pockets so I can put some more photos in there's another one there happy birthday to my beautiful friend stay wonderful this is the die we've just used and then a photograph thankful for you and she wrote me a lovely little note and what a lovely keepsake just something so different and so beautiful it's just a great idea and i believe what she's used stamping up do a um i'll show you actually because i can't it's difficult to describe. It's like a memory keeping, memories and more. And she's Isabel's actually used the plastic covers and cut them down. See, I told you I'm not organised, but I just thought I'd show you. This is it, memories and more. So you can actually get an album. These are the like photo pocket pages that she's cut up to make these it's a fabulous idea but you can put these in your album and you can get um, memories and more card packs cards and envelopes you can make your card pack into cards with your cards and envelopes or you can just decorate your your folder with um 
putting photos on like Izzy has with that one. It's just something different. But I really do. It's, it's lovely. Really nice. And then I do believe I have another card waiting for me at Izzy's. And unfortunately, every time I've been available to go, Izzy's not been available. So I've got one still left to come. So I'll show you that after I've got it. So what else? So as I said, we started... On the 1st of De uh, December, listen me, 1st of July, um, with the new mini catalogue. And we've also got Celebration. And th this the Celebration runs for two months, 1st of July to the 31st of August. I'm just going to quickly, only quickly, for anybody who hasn't seen all these beautiful goodies. So we have card making kits this is a lovely kit comes with a a lovely um um blah, blah, blah. yes lunch bag that's the one um with the card making kit inside it is really really lovely some of these are absolutely amazing some of the kits so they do kits are all on a different site um if you put stamping up kits into the uh, search or if you're interested in any kits if you don't have a demonstrator just get in touch i can let you know what's what so here we go christmas yay so we've got candy canes got some lovely i love i just love christmas i love the colors i'm just going to quickly quickly flick through so we've got um spruced up with baubles and trees we've got regal reindeers they're lovely we've got mistletoe we've got santa express there's some fabulous um uh, stamps sets and bundles dies um there's the snowflakes gingerbread house all sorts of um this with a bundle comes with a punch so you can um you can punch you got the borders you can punch them out this is a returning from last time penguin place we've got, already got that one this is a returning one merriest moments i haven't got that one this one boughs of holly i do like it I like them all. Lovely one here with the big jolly and jingle and believe. And then we've got this one. It's quite um, arty with the uh, the bow of the tree and then all sorts of um, baubles. We've got a barn. We've got a winter sleigh ride. Family and friends. Just goes on and on and on. Lights are glow sweet, so it's got um, you've got your Christmas trees, you've got your snowflakes, you've got some sentiments. It's they're just lovely. This is one that I've got to get, and this is the Christmas Scotty. You don't have to use it as a Christmas, just put a happy birthday with it. You are always loved. You can put that may your days be furry and bright. I just love. I love it and this is a punch bundle that comes with a punch little sea lion and then we've just got like a window um setting and out there you've got you can put candles in the window we can put trees in the outside you've got um all your your wreaths and stuff like that anybody who's into cats not me of course <laughs> there's a the cat one here i love it happy gift wrapping season oh dear i love i love it i love the cat and there's a little dog so there's just so much um i can't have everything but i will be getting i have got two or three out of here which i'll be demonstrating over the coming months 
but yeah you've got a like a, a yeti having a party you've got a beautiful um uh snowflake that's a big that's a big snowflake great for a background great for heat embossing with um with white it'd be lovely this one trees for sale i have this and i'll show you something in the celebration that goes with it so i have that one then we've got your your christmas your religious type christmas with mary and joseph you've got the church you've got there's some be really beautiful things storybook gnomes well what can i say they are so cute so so cute this is one that i've got which is the snowman magic so it's like building a scene and you've got a beautiful die that cuts uh, like a frame with snowflakes in it's really nice so i'm excited to use that um all bundled up so you've got some like cartoon type deer and rabbits and birds you've got this lovely perched in a tree oh you've got all sorts all sorts i'm not going to go all the way through but this as i said earlier we have this um, embossing additions toolkit which is this one has the tray some um tweezers you've got your um embossing buddy and you've got this brush so you can brush down all your bits of powder so that's something i will be getting hopefully in the near future but as I say there's just some beautiful um things autumnal things halloween got wreaths got some really nice some really nice things so you'll be seeing some of them coming over the next few few weeks um this splendid thoughts this is the bundle we used for our um creativity day so i can show you just a couple of projects i'll just leave that so that is the mini catalogue if you haven't got a demonstrator and anybody's interested in having a catalogue just drop me a line and i can send one out um so just going back to creativity day i knew there'd be something i forget we made some beautiful cards so we're uh, this was one of them. Today is a day to remember. This is another one. Much love in your new life together. Sentiments on it. We've got this one. And that says let's celebrate. And then this one. Send in hugs. So that's those are the cards we made. And then um, this is a, a gift bag that we made. We'll just take like so. We can put a nice little present in there. They wrapped it with ribbon, but I didn't have the ribbon that they used, so I've got a clip. So that was, that's what we made on Creativity Day. So it's just something different. As I say, it was a day of, or a morning, should I say, of just basically creating. And I will show you this. This was another of my gifts. And this is a little scoop for embossing powder lovely this was from uh, Alison and it was all wrapped up you can see I'm, I'm a vandal there we go it was all decorated in there so that was another one and then I haven't used it yet Helen I've got it here to use I got this lovely envelope to go in my file to put things in so all in all it was a fab time so just one last thing the celebration and then i'll go
<laughs> I'll leave you alone then. So celebration for anybody who isn't sure what celebration is. So every year stamping up um have a couple they always, always used to do it once a year for three months but now they do it twice a year for two months each where when you spend 45 pounds um or 90 pounds in either of the mini catalog or the annual catalog you can select a free gift so the free gifts um are here and I will just quickly go through which ones I've got, just so you can see. So these are, these are lovely. These are fabulous. Um, I've just got to find me. It's here somewhere. Oh, there we go. I've got it. So, for a £45 spend, you can gain this stamp set for free. Hippiest Hippos and the race. Absolutely brilliant. I stamped a load out just for... <laughs> stamped them and just coloured them in. So, it just gives you an idea. They're so sweet, so cute. And I made a card for a friend. Unfortunately, I'll put a picture on Facebook because I haven't got it to show you with a wobbler on. I put the little ballerina on a wobbler and she was dancing. They're cute. Lovely. So that, so that's with a £45 spend. For another £45 spend, you can get matching dies. So the dies you get, so we've got a boat, we've got a tub, we've got a party hat, we've got stars, we've got flowers, we've got a propeller, tiny little propeller for the boat, we've got water splashes, we've got hearts, we've got a pair of sunglasses, we've got an umbrella, we've got a, um, a, 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 a what do you call it, the safety float thing, you've got waves, you've got grass or stems for flowers and these are ace my husband loves snorkeling well you've got some i don't know what you call them goggles whatever and a snorkel so i'm going to be having some fun with these over the next few weeks i love that a great set so that's so for for 90 pounds you can have both for ninety pound spend, you get those both free. Or forty five with a forty five pound order, you get them. Um, one, you know, either the stamp set or the die set. So we also get some beautiful um, designer series paper. This is one that I have. Oh, sorry, I've just wrecking the job. Try and be organised, but I never am. So this is a twelve by twelve set. So we've got on one side these lovely trees and these lovely ponacetias. So this is a bit of all seasons. So if you get two of each design. You've got these trees, tree slices, and then toadstools, mushrooms, whatever. So you've got two of those. Got all got some beautiful colour. Got these mandalas, and then you've got these lovely houses on this side. Got this like watercolour come salt effect, and then these beautiful birds. Absolutely adore these. Love the colours. You've got this one with leaves on. And then you've got this really autumnal with acorns and leaves. And then you've got this one. This is a make a nice Christmas one, but you don't have to use it for Christmas. It can be just a normal check. And then you've got these beautiful flowers. So this is a set you can get 
with a £45 spend, you can get that, that set of 12 by 12 papers free. Anything's good for free. Um, for a £45 spend as well, you can get... I haven't opened them, but you can get a pack. Um, it's pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. So it's a 20 pack, 10 of each. Your, your card bases and your envelopes. So great for, you know, if you're making cards to sell, whatever. Great idea. So you can get those. Okay, for another £45 spend, you can get this lovely... If you're into nature, wildlife, it's got a fox and ducks and then I think it's acorns, I can see. Um, like a sketchy look stamp set. I haven't got that one yet. You can also, I haven't got this one, um, get this designer series paper. It's six by six, silver and gold. And it's obviously got a white background, so it's foiled. So you've got dots, you've got stripes, etc. You can blend onto these. You can't see them very well, I'm afraid. You can uh, use your blending brushes to put in, you know, colour on. Quite a nice idea. Um, this one, if you spend £90, you get this stamp set with loads of sentiments on. Or phrases, as they call it. Phrasing. Amazing phrasing. Come out with some wonderful names. This one... Now, as I said, in the annual catalogue, we have the trees for sale. So this is a stamp set. It's a photopolymer one. Um, with these, it's got lights, some nice sentiments, some trees, a doggy, some paw prints, berries, and you've got your pole for your, for your lights. It also, if you spend £90 in the, in the catalogue, you can get these for free. So you've got trees, a caravan. Well, I'm a caravanner and absolutely love it. I had to get these. I've got these dies. You've got your dog. You've got a uh, little bunting. Um, that's your lights, dies. Um, stars. You've got little stands for your um, trees for sale stand. You've got a little wreath. It is so so cute and it's got some lovely as you can see it's got some lovely cards you don't have to do a christmas card with the caravan you know you can do a summer one doesn't matter but it's just so unusual you don't you don't find many caravan stamps or dies and then with another 90 pound spend you can receive now i tried to get this but it wasn't available when i ordered um it's a 12 by 12 pack of um, designer series paper and this lovely stamp set. And I think this is beautiful. So when I get the chance, I'm going to get this. It's got some really nice, really nice things with that. Love the colours, the blues, the pinks, the greens, the purples. Love it. This is the host one. So... If you want to have a party or several of your group together, um, you, but your order has got to be £275 and over to receive this stamp set, which is the pomegranate, perfect pomegranate. That one. And then last but not least, I've got to show you this. If you are interested in joining um, Stamping Up, and uh, you don't have a demonstrator please get in touch this is an amazing joining um um well giveaway whatever so you can for 99 pounds you can get 130 pounds in product from mini catalog from the annual catalog and you also receive this wonderful planner now, I've got one. I had to buy it. I could get it separately. I had to buy it. And here it is. It is amazing. Beautiful. So you've got a piece here. 
to put cards in or whatever you've got dividers so you've got starts beginning of this month which has already started and uh, it's lovely it's it's got so much this is only half of the inserts so it's got it's got your calendar it's got your weekly priorities for like your diary You've got a monthly focus page it's it's lovely and then in the back i haven't got i say i haven't got it all in um there's another wad to go in and it's for i think it's an 18 month um journal so not only do you get that but with that you get a stamp set making plans so it's got all sorts of to-do notes goals plans and um, making stamp you know all sorts of ones to use you've got little tick boxes you've got um little arrows and signs love arts it's just useful very useful and then last but not least you get a three pack of notebooks so it's just a lovely lovely set so if if you are wanting to join stamping up even if it's only for the product you don't have to do anything like this even if it's only to say you've got some product um it's a good it's a great present to give to somebody or i couldn't give it away i'd have to keep it for myself but yeah so i think we've just about gone through everything we've had so we've, i've had a couple of weeks off and oh, having to go through everything but uh, i think i'm just about done i think we've got sorted so i'm just popping me i can never get a little even a blooming knot i can't get right to tie but this is what we've made i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed it tonight i was a little bit nervous tonight because i've not been on for a couple of weeks how crazy is that but no we're fine i'm so pleased with that so pleased with my key ring so next week we'll be back on your screens um not quite sure what we're doing yet i'm sure we'll find something um maybe some hippos maybe some hippo cards or a hippo card in a box we shall see and i've just thought one last thing I had it up here she'd throttle me if i didn't i've shown everybody else's present and i've kept it so i could show you <laughs> so we got a little pillow gift with this little envelope with some chockies inside i've still got mine helen i'm going to eat them tonight though now i've shown everybody <laughs> we got a dime bar we got some hand cream just a lovely lovely little box with gifts lip balm watermelon lip balm love 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 these pens so this is don't worry be hoppy pen and it's a bunny wabbit these are ace lovely and they're erasable it's got an eraser at the end got this lovely little uh, bracelet i'll i'll open it now and pop it on but i wanted to show you think happy be happy quite appropriate for izzy she loves the bees and then this beautiful decorated candle abigail rose to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments in this we make a difference so how beautiful is that absolutely gorgeous and then a lovely decorated box with abigail rose again so beautiful we had a wonderful time and some wonderful gifts. I just thought I had that up there waiting and I thought oh, don't let me don't let me forget it. 
so that was my last few weeks and I had a fabulous birthday I say so we're back to reality trying to get sorted right yes it was good Helen wasn't it <laughs> it was fabulous to meet up make new friends it's lovely I say stamping up is an amazing it's amazing community and uh, yes it's great right I'm going to sign off for now thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you next week at eight o'clock I say probably with the hippiest hippos next week so thank you once again see you then bye